Right, Chas. Hey. Is Mum in? Uh, yeah, she's working a bar for me while I go to this safety course thing. Well, she's working in between shouting down the phone to Pollard about a dodgy till or something. I can't cope with more angry faces today. Aaron, you mean? Yeah. Just now banging on about Craig and I'm trying to get through to him for you, but he don't make it easy. Listen, thank you for trying. I am really grateful that you managed to get him to stay. And who knows, given time, we might be able to break him down. Mm. What are you doing? So, you waiting for me? We got phone for ages, I was starving. All right. Hey. Yeah. Right, I'm off to learn which fire extinguisher to use. Make sure your mum doesn't drink the bar dry. See you. Look, they're all waiting for you. She not invited? Well, what do you think? What are you up to? Seeing what we can do. About what? This pervert, Craig. Look, we're all upset with what's happened, but we don't need any more trouble with police. Depends if the police finds out. I will keep calling you until you answer me, Eric Pollard. How many is that now? Message number nine. Little swindler. This looks ominous. I know. Listen, I'm counting on you to keep things on the right side of the law, OK? I'm not sure I want it. Can you two stop all this so we can talk properly? <sighs> Seeing as no one's done anything about it yesterday, I thought it'd be a good idea to get our heads together and try and help Lydia. Well, look, we need to be smart about this. Otherwise, Craig will just use it against us. He's already got Bell in his sights. His sister has sent me a letter taking me to the cleaners for what I called him. We need to stop messing around and force him to admit it. Box of matches in his nether regions and a trick. And then you'll be one in prison, won't you? Sam doesn't want to do anything like that. I thought you were being quiet. You offered some up, haven't you? Yeah, he did offer. And I, and I said no. But I've changed my mind. Sam, violence is wrong. We've got no on him. Police have said they won't do out. You were a dead lucky person ended up in jail. I know, but it doesn't mean you can go around dishing out your own justice. Why not? Bet you felt better when Pierce was dead. Did you? With your dad? Yeah, actually I did. Well, then you'll know this too. When something like this happens, it doesn't matter if they're dead or alive, because they are always there in the back of your mind. Look, Craig has already caused everyone enough grief. We don't need pain on top of pain. Which is why we need to take him out. So he suffers just like Lydia is. Taking out? Come on, you're not seriously talking about killing him, are you? Right, yeah, because that worked out really well for Robert, didn't it? You could always get Kyle to do it. Too much. Well, I reckon a short, sharp shot could do the trick. Right, I'm having no part of this, and neither is Marlon. I'll decide for myself, thanks. Right, I've got the stuff to do at the surgery, but we can't be late for your appointment, right? Look, Sam. All of you, just please don't do something that you will regret. Your wound is not happy, is she? It's brought back a lot of dark memories for her. What has changed your mind, Sammy? Well, Lydia's trapped. She's back to square one. She can't move on until Craig's admitted what he's done. She's never going to do that, is he? Walking around like he's cock at north. And can he can't be touched. Scaring him is the only way we're going to get him to say what he did. Aaron's right. No. No one is doing anything of the sort. After yesterday, I specifically said no more hurt and definitely no violence. We are not stooping to Craig's level. Liz, we care about you. That's why we need to do something. If you cared about me, you'd forget about this vendetta right now. Yeah. Craig might never admit the truth of what happened. And I might have to live with that for the rest of my life. But that's my problem to solve. Not yours. Not yours. Not any of yours. Do I make myself clear? I'll take your silence as an agreement. We'll talk about this later. I've got to get to home farm. I am so disappointed in you, Sam Dingle. I thought you wanted to help me. Obviously, I was wrong.
to get another round. No, they might. You gave away Chas all the guts for garters. True. Right, come on, you lot, sup up. I need to clear everything away. I'll let my guts the way they are. Um, I still need a sandwich. Uh, do you want to know, Aaron? Yeah, everyone's a grossing balls. I uh, don't think he sells that. Just a uh, cheese and pickle to go, please, man. No worries. Right, well, I'm going to go make my bladder glad. God help this Craig if one of us lot comes across him. OK, Sam. Oh, no. He's not going to get away with this, I promise you. Well, you can't do anything. Make things even worse for you. You can talk me with a thousand sisters. I don't care what happens to me. Cheers, Mum. How much does a hitman cost? Too much for you. Not too much for you, money bags. Maybe. Don't worry, Sam. We'll fix this, mate. I love you, Sammy. Hey, don't you need to be somewhere, man? I won't be happy if you're late. <clears throat> Some things are more important. Listen, uh, I'm not giving up on this either, yeah? Is this a joke? Get yourself gone. Go on. This better not just be words. One of us needs to do something. We will. <laughs> yeah, promises, promises. Don't worry, Sam. I'll get you justice. People shouldn't be getting into trouble on my behalf. Everyone just wants to help you, Sam. My offer still stands. Just say the word. Lydia need never know. No. I, I could sort this out myself. What were you thinking of doing? This and that. 